find the bearing of B from A, the dotted lines are perpendicular. And so, first of all, we'll state the bearings are given in three figures and are measured uh, clockwise from north. So if we start from north, we need to go all the way around to here. So on the diagram, it's a good idea to mark on the bearing that we actually want to find. And then we can use the properties of these perpendicular lines to find it. Well, we know all the way around to here it will be 270 degrees. So we'll do 270 minus the 18 degrees. And that will give me the required bearing, 252. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find a bearing. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.